The COVID-19 pandemic, it's one disease we have now. We don't know when we will have the next one. My name is Professor Michael Zimmerman, and I am the inventor of the Practipal tray system. I graduated as a dentist from the dental faculty in Stockholm from the Karolinska Institute in 1979. During the early days of the HIV AIDS pandemic, I was responsible for a program taking care of uh, HIV positive and AIDS patients at that time. And working both with hospital care and with dental care, I could compare the system that was used in the surgical wards at the hospital, uh, which had already at that time uh, was very much tray oriented. Mm -hmm. So transferring the same system in, into dentistry, I identified as a possibility to great improvement, both infection control wise, safety wise, uh, logistic and also economical. The main advantages by using the practical system, uh, number one is for safety, uh, number two efficiency, uh, you get a much better turnover of the instruments, you have a better overview of the instruments both in the clinic and also in place. Uh, and by having preset trays, uh, you will always have the right instruments in, in place when doing the treatment. When constructing the tray, uh, we spent a lot of time uh, interviewing, scrutinizing how, how dentists actually worked in the field. Uh, and, and what we could see, there was a need for a light tray because the weight of the tray will also consume energy during the reprocessing. Uh, we also wanted the instruments to be stable in the tray during the reprocessing, but they couldn't be locked in the tray. If they are too tightly locked, there will be no possibility for the liquid cleaning the instruments. So they must be locked, but still being able to move, being free on the tray. And that was a very, very crucial uh, idea when, when constructing the tray system. Uh, what you need to start with at the clinic is to go through what instruments are actually being used during a normal workday. Uh, most of the time, close to 70% uh, of the instruments being in place at the clinic before you start the tray system. 70% of the instruments are never used. And number two, go through with all clinicians uh, at the clinic. So you will get trays that are actually designed to be suitable for everyone at the clinic. Number three, identify specific trays for specific type of treatments. One set of instruments, one color coded tray for for example, for restorative, one for perio, one for endo, and one for surgery. Number four will be to go through the type of treatment you carry out at the clinic. Uh, and, and then you can, when you see the number of different treatment, you could also decide the number of trays needed. Uh, and, and for a normal small clinic, if you are one dentist, one assistant, uh, you need to multiply the number of trays needed with 1.5. So if you know that you are doing five restorative patients per day, you need 7.5. You need eight trays uh, for, for covering up. Uh, so, so there will be time for reprocessing the instruments. Once we get out of the COVID-19 pandemic, we don't know when we will have the next one. It can be this fall, it can be next year, it can be within five years or within 10 years. And the ones surviving, that will be the clinics that are best prepared. Uh, and one of the preparations is to have a proper logistics and have proper care of your instruments. And that's where we have one of the biggest advantages with a good tray system, with the practical system.